hi everyone uh, i am going to explain uh, exercise 11.2 in 8th class mathematics algebraic expressions so here the first question is like this complete the table and uh, in that the first expression is given as 5q second expression is p plus q minus 2r and they are asking for the product of those two so here i have written since they are asking for product i have to write into here 5q into p plus q minus 2r so it can be done like this first so with this term you need to multiply each and every term in this in the brackets that means 5q into p plus 5q into q second Since there is minus, write minus 5q into 2r. Right. So here 5q into p. So it will become 5pq. So 5q yeah, into p will become pq plus. So here write 5. So q into q will become q square send there is minus so write minus so here we have two numbers so first you need to multiply these two numbers 5 into 2 will become 10 q into r will become qr so that's the product of these two expressions like this we need to solve this kind of problem so let's go to another problem that is so two expressions are given here one is KL plus LM plus MN and the second expression is 3K so here since they are asking for the product I have written like this KL plus LM plus MN into 3K so here I am using commutative property so what kind of property what is it commutative property so that's the reason I have written 3K into KL plus LM plus MN so now let's so multiply each and every term in the brackets with 3k so 3k into kl so 3k into kl first term since there is plus right plus so you need to multiply second term also 3k into lm plus 3k into mn so here we have only one number so write 3 and here we have two variables k and there is a, another variable also here k so k into k will become k square and there is only one l you need to write there l so become 3 k, 3 k square l put plus so we have only one number so write as it is so now here we have three different variables so we can write simply k l m so k into l m become k l m plus here also we have only one number so write constant only one constant write three as it was and if you see the variables all the three variables n m k all are different so simply the product will become k m n so k into m n will become k m n so once again i am going to explain the product like this so here we have only one constant so write 3 as it was k into k l so here k both k's are same kind of variable so k into k will become k square and l and you have only one constant so write 3 so k into l m will become k l m plus so here we have only one constant so write 3 so k into mn will become 3 k mn so like this we have to write the product so let's move on to the second problem what is it simplify simplify 4 y into 3 y so in this step so you need to multiply these two terms with 4 y so 4 4 y into 3 y 
plus since there is plus I have to write in plus 4y into 4 so here we have two constants here two numbers here so write them 4 into 3 into y into y plus and here so 4 into 4 multiply both the numbers into y so 4 into 3 will become 12 y into y will become y square 12 into y square since there is plus right plus 4 into 4 will become 16 into y so 12 into y square 12 y square plus 16 into y 16 y so that's the answer in this way we can we can we simplify this kind of problem let's move on to the next problem simplify x into 2x square minus 7x plus 3 and find the values for x equals to 1 and x equals to 0 so first we have to simplify this problem so here so I'm writing it x into 2x square so I'm multiplying first term x into 2x square. then there is minus so write minus here now x into 7x x into 7x since there is plus you need to write plus here x into 3 So here, so we have only one constant, so write 2 into x into x square minus 7 into, so I am applying commutative property, so x into x plus x into 3 will become 3x. Since we have only one constant, one number 2 into x into x square will become x cube minus 7 into x into x will become x square plus 3x so that implies so 2 into x cube will become 2x cube minus 7 into x square will become 7x square plus 3x so this is a simplified this is so in this way it is simplified so now let us find the value of values that the value of expression at x equal to so if x equals to 1 if x equals to 1 so here 2 so what is the value of x here 1 so it will become 1 cube minus 7 into x square the value of x is 1 since I have hence I have written 1 plus 3x since the value of x I have written 3 into 1 that implies 2 into 1 cube so 1 cube in the sense 1 2 into 1 so 2 into 1 minus 7 into 1 square in the sense 1 plus 3 into 1 will become 3 so 2 into 1 2 minus 7 into 1 7 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 will become 5 minus 7 that equals to minus 2. So if x equals to 0, if x equals to 0 then since we have 2x cube so 2 into x since x equals to 0 you have right. 0 cube minus 7x square will become 7 0 square plus 3x will become 3 into 0 so here since so here since we have 0 cube in the sense 0 0 into 2 will become 0 0 square means 0 0 into 7 will become 0 0 into 3 will become 0 so whole the completely the whole uh, expression will become 0 if you put x equals to 0 so like this we can simplify and we can find the value of those expressions when different values of x so let's move on to the next problem fourth problem so add the product 
the question is like this add the product so what is given here a into a minus b b into b minus c comma c into c minus c so since they are asking for since they are asking for addition so you need to write them so a into a minus b plus b into b minus c plus c into c minus a so you know that so i need to explain both a and b with a so a into a minus a into b plus b into b b into b minus b into c plus c into c into c minus c into a that implies so a into a will become a square minus a into b will become a b since there is plus right plus here b into b will become b square minus b into c will become b c plus since there is plus c into c become c square minus c into a will become a c so now so write all the squares a square b square plus c square at at and next there you have a b minus b c minus c a so in this way we can uh, add the product so now let's move on to the next problem Sub subtract the product of 2x minus 2x into 5x minus y from the product of 3x into x plus 2y so since we have to subtract from 3x into x plus y so i am writing like this so 3x into x plus 2y minus 2x into 5x minus y so i am multiplying this 3x into x since there is plus right plus 3x into 2y since there is minus minus 2x into 5x minus 2x into y okay so 3x into x so 3x square plus so here we have two constants 3 into 2 so what is it 3 into 2 into x into y minus here also we have two constants so 2 into 5 into x into x minus 2x into y will become 2xy so in the next step 3x square plus so 3 into 2 will become 6 x into y become xy minus 2 into 5 will become 10 x into x will become x square minus into minus will become plus so 2xy okay so here we have 3x square and here also we have x square term so write minus 10x square and now this this is the time for xy term 6xy plus 2xy so 3x square minus 10x square will become minus 7x square 
plus 6xy plus 2xy will become 8xy so in this way you can subtract now let's move on to the next problem simplify so here so again you need to multiply a square into a minus b plus c plus b square into a plus b minus c minus c square into a minus b minus c so now we need to multiply each and every term in the brackets with a square so a square into a minus a square into b plus a square into c plus b square into a plus b square into b here we have minus here we have plus so plus into minus will become minus b square into c so here in the third case third term there is minus so you need to multiply every time so minus and the term of the sign of a is plus minus into plus will become minus c square into a c square into a minus into minus plus c square into b minus into minus plus c square into c so second step a square into a become a cube minus a square into b a square b plus a square into c a square c plus b square into a b square a plus b square into b b cube minus b square into c b square c minus c square into a c square a c square into b c square b plus c square into c will become c cube write all the cubes at one place a cube plus b cube plus c cube so now we need to find out the a terms so we have so here we have a a c square here we have a b square so simply write a c square plus a b square so these two terms are done now we go with b terms so b c square b c square b a square so plus b c square minus b a square now we'll so we are left with only two terms a square c which means c a square and c b square plus c a square minus c b square thanks for watching my video please like subscribe and share my video thank you all bye bye